as a makeup artist i often struggled with um trying to make my lipstick last longer and here are some mistakes i found out and i avoided and has helped me so far first of all is by prepping your lips before you start your lip work ensure to prep and i usually do that with vaseline because i for one has like a really chapped lips and while i'm doing my makeup i just go ahead and apply my vaseline so that it helps to soften and exfoliate um every dry um cell on my lip or dry skin so also i try to go ahead with blendable products products that do not dry up so easily for example i'm using my my gel liner to line my lips which works super well because it's easy easily blendable it's easily manipulatable um however you can use your um you can use your eye pencil no qualms but um this has helped me so far in taking my lipstick game to a whole new level so i try to work with products that are easily um that are easily blendable products that do not dry up on my skin too quickly another of the mistake i usually make is that when i'm doing my foundation and i i don't prep my skin i just go ahead and apply foundation all over my lips and you know that i use a and i use a matte foundation this really really dries up my lips even much more such that when i get to my lips part the thing is already caked up and clumped up so um what i did was i do not apply foundation on my lips both for myself or for clients i work with um, i just apply foundation all over the face while i keep on prepping the lips with um i prep the lips with vaseline so that it can be easy easy to work with by the time i get to the lips so i can choose to apply um foundation when i start working with the lips or not if i choose not to so that is another thing that another mistake i made i usually make that has helped that i've avoided and has helped me so far so you can see that because this gel liner is super super blendable it's easy for me to manipulate easily and it is just going so easy this is because i have prepped my lips already and also another mistake you should not make is doing your lipstick first before um trying to line it because trying to line it after you've applied your lipstick will cause so much smudge and you may need to be reworking your lips over and over again which may not make it last now another mistake i avoid i've i've learned to avoid is i do not use um clumpy lipstick like if you are doing your lip work and you still have lipsticks that are super thick super clumpy and dry out super easily then you most likely be coming out with um, a very smudged lipstick before the day goes out so i learned to swap all my um, lipsticks that have that are already clumpy and too thick for very lightweight lipsticks and lipsticks that of course allow me to manipulate them enough before they dry so also you should learn to learn to layer your lip if you want your lipstick to last However, too much layering can also cause your lipstick to, you know, it can cause your lipstick to break apart and smudge before the end of the day. So ensure at the first time you are taking enough layer, then if you want to relayer it just twice is okay. But when you keep layering it over like four or five times, it makes your lipstick too clogged up with product and obviously it will break apart before the day runs out another mistake i have learned to avoid and you should too is by not blending properly you see this blending blending is key if you don't blend properly your lipstick will break out and you can see i'm using my blending brush and i'm just patting it all over you need to do that so that your lipstick stays in well now 
your your lip gloss it can help make your lipstick last longer however using a very thick lip gloss can cause your lipstick to disintegrate and break before the day runs out so you want to use a lightweight lip gloss and a lip gloss that can um that can blend into your lipstick and give it that glossy effect without mixing up and disintegrating it before the day runs out i hope you enjoyed this video do well to like and subscribe